guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an e.l.f. haul to share with you guys. I had picked up some of the new mini bite size face duos. I also have the new ride or die lip balms in three different shades and the new sheer slick lipsticks in three shades as well. So I have a lot to cover today. I have reviews on all these products as well as tons of swatches that we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. So first up, let's talk about these little cheek duos. These are so cute and I ended up buying all eight shades when they first launched. So let's take a look at these next to the eyeshadow palettes. So they're basically the exact same size, exact same packaging, and the only difference is you get two shades instead of four. So they just made the pan sizes a little bit larger, which is great because you need to be able to get your big fluffy brush into these pans. And they're still really travel friendly and small as well. So I think they did a great job on these and the colors are just beautiful. You have a highlight on one end and then a blush on the other and formula wise these are great Just like the eyeshadow palettes. I really have been enjoying using these over the past couple of days I'm wearing the shade spiced apple today I think it is such a gorgeous color and I'm also wearing the highlight I don't know if you can see it on the camera or if it's catching the light at all I don't usually like to like load up my highlighter too much or make it too blinding But hopefully you guys can see a little bit of glow if I turn my head so anyway, this color is super stunning like I said and what I love about these is that they're pigmented but they're not like over the top pigmented where you feel like you're going to apply too much. So you can easily build them up if you want to um, but they do show up even on the first pass which I really like. And also they're a very finely milled powder. They're not chalky at all. I think they lay so nicely on the skin and they don't look powdery or cakey or anything. So I'm really enjoying this formula a lot. So why don't we go ahead and jump in and look at some swatches. Watches. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I say See it in your mind Trust that Have what it takes inside So then next up, let's take a look at these Sheer Slick lipsticks. So on the package, it says that this Silky Slick lipstick formula was inspired by the summer days of biting into juicy, delicious fruit. Let this lipstick melt into your lips, leaving you with a sheer wash of color and smooth, hydrated feel. So I'm actually wearing one of these today. Which color am I wearing? Golden Pear. So this one is kind of more of like an orangey, peachy color. It's really, really beautiful. And they say that this is a sheer wash of color, but I actually feel like they really pack a punch. 
pinch on your lips. So I was actually really taken aback by how much pigment came out the first time I used this. Basically one swipe gets you this amount of color. So I just wanted to mention that in case you guys were expecting something a little bit more sheer like a gloss, but overall these feel so nice on the lips. They kind of are like that melty sort of texture and they feel like a tinted lip balm, but just with a lot more pigment to them. And they feel really, really nice and just smooth on the lips. So I'm enjoying these too. They also don't have any kind of scent to them. No, I just wanted to make sure, but no, no scent. So that's another really good thing. I'm not too crazy about scented lip products unless it's like vanilla. That's really the only one that I'm cool with. But just with like the whole kind of juicy fruity theme, I was expecting these to have a fruity scent like the ColourPop um, lip crayons and I hate the smell of that. So I'm really, really glad that they don't have any fragrance. So let's go ahead now and check out some swatches of the three shades that I have. And then last but not least, I have the Ride or Die Lip Balms. They come in really cute little tubes like the Glossier Balm.coms, but the formula of these actually is a little bit more like the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I don't think they have the same type of ingredients in them, but just the way that they're a little bit difficult to squeeze out of the tube, they're just really, really thick and rich balms. So unfortunately, because they have so much color in them, it's not something that you're gonna wanna wear to bed overnight as a lip mask, even though they feel incredible just like a lip mask would they're super super hydrating but they pack a ton of color to them as well so I don't know if they have a clear version they might I have to double check on that I don't know for sure but all three of the ones that I got have a lot of color to them so they're a great like lip balm lip gloss type of hybrid because you're getting the color in there but also you're getting those really moisturizing ingredients and they just feel so good on your lips especially if like they're really dry the other day I was outside and I got quite a bit of sun and that night my lips were just feeling like really parched and just like I needed to put something on and these had just come in the mail so I said you know what let me just put one on instead of my regular lip balm and they felt so good it just really healed my lips nicely I wore it like for the rest of the night and just took it off before bed and then I switched to something clear but I just loved the way this felt on my lips it was just really nice and soothing so let's go ahead now and get into some swatches of all three of these than once to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now somehow i'll give you my attention you've got to know that i i ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance you make me feel so If you're gonna be moving on so, so anyway guys that's everything I am really impressed with everything that I got a chance to try this week from elf I think all of these products are amazing I think you would be happy with any of them because they're all so good and this is why elf is just one of my absolute favorite affordable brands because they just really bring it every time they give us such great products at affordable prices so I'm just very impressed overall so anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also I'd love to hear your thoughts on these in the comments below did you get a chance to try any of these products yet and what are your thoughts on them or are you planning to purchase any I would love to hear from you guys so anyway thank you guys so much again please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye!